Buenas tardes, teacher. Hello, Sara. Hoy voy a estar de oyente porque no puedo estar así. ¿No puede participar? Sí. Ah, bueno. Por si no le escucho cuando estoy <ríe> pasando lista. Good evening, Guillermo, Abby, Good and evening, Marlon. teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. I'm a little bit tired. Ah, oh, sorry. You look tired. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Rosalie. Have you worked very hard today? Or yesterday? Mm, today, hard today, hard work. Where do you work, Rosalie? Repeat, repeat where, please. Where do you work? Where? In laboratorio spy. Mm, in the same as Kathy. Yes. Good evening, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, no le escucho, no sé si solo yo no le escucho. Mm, sí, sí, es que estaba con el micrófono apagado y que de repente me estaban llamando, pero, uh, excuse me. Ok, ok, <ríe> ya, ya. Sí, es que me, me estaban llamando, entonces eh, ahorita mi hija le estaba poniendo un mensaje a la persona. Ok. Um, ok, guys. Let me see. Wait a minute, what I need to. Ah, ok. <laughs> How many are in the class? Nine students. Ok, let's begin. Let's begin. Okay, guys, 
Uh, let's begin the class today. And the topic is how to use imperatives. Okay, we are going to see what are imperatives and practice, of course. Okay, the unit number two is ongoing activities at workplace. And objective, identify and use imperatives. Okay, we are going to try to know what are imperatives and how to use them by practicing, of course. Everything is by practice. If you don't practice, uh, you forget the content, you forget the things. So it's necessary to practice. Okay. Uh, I was uh, seeing how many students were because I need to do this at the beginning. And if he, students enter late, cannot be practicing this activity. Okay, remember that yesterday we were uh, practicing the frequency adverse always Usually, sometimes, seldom, readily, never. And we were practicing some activities. For example, wake up, eat breakfast, use the computer, work overtime, work on Saturdays. Okay, and then you are going to do the following. We are going to go to the break hour. Well, actually, I don't know if we can go to the break hour rooms because only eight students are not enough to go to the very rooms, let me tell you. But here, uh, I have to do it here in the class. Okay, I want to, well, you are going to ask the rest of the class the questions, how often do you, in complement here, for example, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? How often do you eat breakfast? How often do you use the computer at work? How often do you work overtime? And how often do you work on Saturdays? Okay, you are, let me see, Guillermo, you begin. Okay, here we have a Rosalie, we have Evelyn, we have Isamar, Raquel, Sarano, right? Sarano, okay, Marlon. Adi, I don't know, because she didn't answer Hi. before. Good evening. Good evening, okay. Ask the question number one, okay? How often do you wake up at before? And then we are going to check the answers here, okay? But in this moment, I need that you answer complete sentences. For example, if Guillermo asks Raquel, and say, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? And Raquel says, I always wake up before 5 a.m. And then we we mark here the number, right? Raquel is number one, always. If she answer, I sometimes uh, wake up before 5 a.m., then we mark here. And then, uh, according to the answer, right? Okay, everybody, are uh, you ready, Guillermo? And I'm going yes. to, <clears throat> to write here the number. Okay, Guillermo, begin by asking one by one. I don't know if you see the names of the person or the people. Um, yes, teacher. Okay, it's Raquel, Ana Cristina, Doris, Fatima, okay. Fabiola, Isamar, Marlon. Ah, is not in the class. Wow. Okay, uh, Rosalie, uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I wake up. No, I, I rarely wake, wake up before. 5 a.m. So you we say rarely we have one. Okay. 
Okay. The next one, um, Evelyn, uh, how often do you eat, eat um, breakfast? Only the number one. Only the number one, Guillermo. Okay. Okay. Break. Teacher, I I have to uh, uh, to ask the same question to everyone. Yeah, to everybody, same question. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> Evelyn, how often do you wake up before five a.m.? Mm, um, repeat, please. How often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? Mm, uh, I wake up. Remember, you say I. Then you say your I, person the frequency adverb and then the activity. Okay, why Uber 43 I am uh, why? Primero su usted se dice yo, verdad? I después dice el frequency uh -huh. adverb y después la actividad. Esa es la, la, la secuencia. Okay. I why Uber for three I am away. Okay. I don't know if you get the the answer, Guillermo. Mm, I think it's always. Okay. So always. The next one, Adi Reyes. I repeat, please. Uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? Okay. Um. Yes, I am wake up 4 a.m. Yeah, but you don't use the verb to be here. Because the activities wake up. How often do you wake up? It's a question. Okay, um, I am wake up 4 a.m. No, you don't use the, you don't use the verb to be because the activity is wake up. Quítele el verbo to be, solo quítele el verbo to be y vuelva a repetir. Okay. Uh, wake up for EM. Vaya, ahora omitió sujeto. En una oración no puede omitir sujeto. Siempre tiene que decir sujeto okay. en una oración normal. Va. I wake up for EM. Eh, eh, sorry. Always, usually, sometimes, seldom, readily, or never. Okay, I am wake up for EM always, always. Vaya, Adi, como usted no me vino a la clase de ayer, este, y quizás no vio el video tampoco, vea mm -hmm. el video, por favor. Okay. Sí, porque esto tiene una estructura y hay que cumplirla, ok. Y... Uh, no sé, quizás voy a... Eh, ¿Usted sabe qué significa always? ¿Adi? Ok. Um, continue, please. Siempre, siempre. Perdón, mis, tenía el micrófono apagado. Siempre. Uh, ok. Usually, sometimes, seldom, rarely, never. Eh, eh, comprende todos los seis. Eh, vaya. Entonces el primero, él, él le preguntó si usted con qué frecuencia se, 
se levantaba las antes de las cinco. Ajá, Entonces todos era, los días, del lunes a viernes. Entonces sería always. Sí. Always. Continue, Guillermo. Ok. Eh, Ana Hernández. Hola, tell me. How often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? Oh, I always uh, wake up before 5 o'clock. Okay, where am I? We have three now. I'll continue, Guillermo. Okay, um, Doris Bolaños. Hello. Uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I usually wake up before uh, 5 a.m. Continue, continue, William. Okay, uh, Fatima Paz. Yes. Uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I sometimes wake up before 5 a.m. Okay, thank you. Continue. Mm, Isamar Cárcamo. <laughs> always wake up before 5 a.m. Okay, always. We have four now, four people here. Okay, continue, Guille. Mm, Katia de León, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I seldom wake up before 5 a.m. One here. Yes. Next. Mm, Maritza Martinez. Hey. How often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I usually wake up before 5 a.m. Okay. We, I erase this. And this, this is one. Usually, two, right? Yeah, because we have one. Continue, please. Marlon Miranda. Yes. Uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I always wake up before 5 a.m. Always. We have now here five people. Yes, yes. Um, the next one, Marvin Jimenez. Yes. Uh, <laughs> how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I always wake up before 5 a.m. Thank you. Who is missing? I think. Mm, Ra did you ask Raquel? Raquel, no. Mm. 
Raquel, uh, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I sometimes wake up before 5 a.m. Sometimes. We have now, oh, I don't know why this is disappears, <laughs> the numbers. Okay, six, and here we have two. And here we have two now. I don't like sometimes this because I only raise one, but this appear the three. Okay, we have 12 people and there are in the class we have 15. I guess, Kathy, did you ask Kathy? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes. Did you ask Marixa? Yes. Yes. Did you ask Fatima Fabiola? Yes. Do you ask Graciela is oyente now, right? Let me see two people. Two people is 15, 13. Only one is missing, but I, I don't get it. Who is it? You, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, Guillermo. Okay, okay, I'm going to ask you, how often do you wake up before 5 a.m.? I hope ways uh, wake up uh, before 5 a.m. So it is here 7. 7 in always. Okay, uh, because now we have more people in the class, we are going to do it together okay, in the breakout rooms. Uh, we have now only four questions. It breakfast, use the computer, at work, work overtime, work on Saturday. Do you see? how we ask the question to, to the students, right? Now I'm going to call, I'm going to uh, assign a leader in each group. Okay, I'm going to make three groups. And you write the number and give me, al final usted me va a dar los datos, el líder que voy a nombrar de cada grupo. Va a ser la misma pregunta a todos. Y escribe el número. Y okay, al final me da estos datos. Por ejemplo, en la primera pregunta tenemos en always seven. En usually two. Sometimes two. Seldom one. En readily one. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? The, the leaders in the groups are in the number one. Guillermo. I would like, but you don't have the computer, right? Or yes? No, teacher. Okay. Now, the number one is Kathy. The number two hey, is, is uh, Ana Cristina. And the number three, okay. I don't know, is Amar, is, is Amar? Is it uh, is Amar here? Mm. Is Amar, yes. Samar, are you going to help me? Is Amar? Yeah. Okay. I don't know who is talking. I don't know who is talking. Please, the, the microphone. Okay, Adi, I don't know if you can help me. Yes, teacher. Eh, pero ya captó la idea cómo vamos haciendo la pregunta, va. Yes, Sara. Eh, eh, sorry, Adi. Yes, teacher. Es que, es que yo la tenía ahí con el punteador en Adi y de repente ya no estaba, sino que por eso es que dije ese nombre. Sorry. Este, vaya, entonces es que usted va a ir haciéndole la pregunta, how often do you? 
Y aquí lo va complementando con la actividad. Por ejemplo, how often do you wake up at before 5 a.m.? Después le va a preguntar how often do you eat breakfast? How often do you use the computer at work? How often do you work overtime? How often do you work on Saturdays? Pero la primera no, porque ya la hicimos. Solo de la segunda en adelante. Y va a ir escribiendo el número según le escriban. Ahí como va a ser rápido, ¿verdad? Porque como uh -huh. solo van a quedar cinco en su grupo, incluyéndose usted. Y usted misma también agregue la respuesta ahí. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Yes. Sí, the groups are going to be on five with three groups. Graciela. Ok. Graciela. Uh, sí, yo más mal de la garganta. Ok, Graciela. Le voy a poner aquí en el chat. Ah, no, no es usted. Ah, pues es que como usted dice ahí oyente. Ah, ok. Vaya, la pongo en un grupo otra vez. Ahí póngame en el chat. Va. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Vamos a ponerla en tres. Vaya, intente porque ya la puse en otro. Sorry. Okay. I could enter up to um, now. Teacher, the no question. Ajá, Katy. Eh, si quería hacer si nos podía me podía permitir compartir la pantalla ah no estaba ok, bye yo creí que ya estaba voy a ir pues ok ya Ya puede. Sí, thank you, teacher. Sí. Ok. Thank you.
Iya, beauty <laughs> that one. <laughs> always. Ana Cristina. Sí. Tiene yes. que tiene que compartir pantalla para escribir la respuesta. Ah, bueno, lo había entendido yo en el aquí ya estábamos haciéndolo, pero ya lo, ahorita lo, lo voy a descargar. Okay. Pero sí estábamos haciendo las preguntas, ahorita lo descargo. Ya lo pasamos en limpio. <risas> Ajá, cabal. <risas> a ver, ¿Dónde está aquí? Aquí. Um... Como que trabajo de después. Hi, uh -huh. teacher. Hello, no sé cómo, Hello. cómo está haciendo aquí Adi, porque me parece que tanto Graciela como Sara están de oyentes. Estamos, pero le acabo de preguntar a Maritza, ahora ella me está preguntando a mí. Ah, vale, entonces solo tendríamos esos datos. Ok. okay. Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. one question, así se dice. Yes, yes, one question. Okay. Eh, Work overtime. Over, es como trabajo después o tiempo que ocupo después para trabajar. Ajá, extra. extra ah, time. trabajo. Ok. Uh -huh. pues, ok. Vaya. Eh... Is Amar? Hello. Ok. Um, Rosalie, how often do you work on Saturday? I sometimes work on Saturday. Ok. Guillermo, how often do you work on Saturdays? I seldom work on Saturdays. Okay, Raquel, how often do you work on Saturdays? I never work on Saturday. Okay, <laughs> 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 Susi, how often do you work on Saturday? I sometimes work in Saturday, on Saturdays.
<laughs> I finished, teacher. Okay, you are very efficient, Kathy. <laughs> Do you have the results? Do you have the numbers? Ah, uh, yes. Can you tell me? In yes, or... question number two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, for the number two is I want to write them. Uh, to always. Always to. Yes. Usually one. Ah oh, no! Sorry, sorry. Is always three. <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah, always three and usually one in the number. And rarely, and rarely one. One in the equation number two. Mm -hmm. And the number three? And number three, always two. Uh -huh. Usually one, sometimes, sometimes one. And sometimes one, seldom one. Seldom one. And the number four? And number four, always one. Work over time, right? And one. And usually one. And sometimes one. Uh -huh. And so seldom one. And never one. And never one. Mm -hmm. In number five, In number five is always two. Yes. Rarely two. And never one. Never one. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. I'm going to close the... Okay, how was everything, Anna? So you finish. Okay, I'm going to share my, and we, let me tell you that I lost the numbers. Yes, teacher, I finish. I, I lost the numbers that I have, I remember, if you remember how many did I have here and always in the first? I remember six. And usually, how many did, did I have? How many? Not remember. But I remember two, I will not remember because I, the, four, the number disappeared. Four, and they always seven, teacher. Seven, thank you. And usually two, sometimes two, seldom one and rarely one. Seldom one and rarely one. Because I have a so, 15, I, a less two, 13. Nine, 15. 11, yes? In my group, no, no, I say you the first question. 
que él había mujer. No, 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 only the number two. Okay, give me oh. your, because uh, I want to write first Katis, okay? First Katis. And number one, three, and then two, then one, and two. Correct, Katy? Correct, correct. And usually we have one, one, and one. Okay, and sometimes we have, uh, here we have, sorry, my mouse is it's crazy. Okay. <laughs> and, and here in sometimes we have only one and one. And Literally, we have no seldom. We have in the number two, one. In the number, the never only one in one. Never one in one. Is it correct, Kathy? Um, in seldom, in number four, one. Number four is one. I omitted one. And rarely, rarely, and number two, number one, two. and yes, and rarely. Well, I mean, because I don't know what is happening with my mouse. Okay, okay. Uh, you sell in seldom, no, in rarely, we have two in the number five, right? And uh, yes. I seldom to here. Uh, readily, readily. And readily, we have to. That's it? That's the only uh, mistake that I made? <laughs> and number two, is, one, and readily. Seldom is only one in the number three, in the number three, right? The number four, no. Number three in number four, yes. Is it correct? It's correct. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, Ana Cristina. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, and really, uh, number two and one. Me falta uno. Here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Ana Cristina, and always in the number two, how many? Okay, teacher. Four. Four. Yes. So we have seven. And in the number three? Uh, in uh, the question number two, always four and usually one. Num uh, one. No, only uh, always. First, so, ah, always. Okay. okay. In the number th three? Number three, always five. In the number three. Five, yes. and so it is seven. Over time, uh, nothing, zero. nothing, and or work on Saturdays, nothing. Okay, usually in question number two, one. So we have two, and we use the computer, and usually, nothing, and number four, usually, uh, only one. So we have two here. And work on of... Saturday, nothing. Okay. And sometimes? Sometimes only work on Saturday, three. Ah. Okay. And seldom? Seldom, uh, question number five, work on Saturday, only one. Okay. Really? Rarely a uh, work hour time one. And never? Never. Work hour time never three. And work on Saturday one. We have four here. Okay, I hope this. I, I hope not I may I didn't make a mistake, all right. It's all right. Uh, that was the uh, Abby. 
Are they please? Okay, teacher. En el grupo éramos dos compañeras y dos oyentes. Así que... <laughs> okay. <laughs> In, in the number two, oh, begin with always. In the in, number two, eat breakfast. Yes. Okay, two. So always. we have nine. Two, always. Um, you say, you say the computer at work? One, always. Mm -hmm. hey, sorry, 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 sorry. I, what, what the number? It was two, right? Now we have three. Uh, okay. Sorry, I didn't add. I pressed it. <laughs> okay. Next, work overtime? No. Work overtime, one always, one usually. Okay, one, that is two. And work on, work on Saturdays always? No. One always, one usually. Okay, one. Sorry, but my mouse is failing now. Three. Okay. Yes. Another? Uh, work on Saturday. Uh, one usually. I already made Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. um, one usually. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's it. Or do you have another number? Adi? Marita. Yo. Okay. So the result of the poll is, okay, the majority of you, okay, according to the numbers, okay, the majority of you, seven of you wake up before 5 a.m. Always wake up. Okay, the majority of you, Always wake up before 5 a.m. Or you can say seven of you always wake up at seven uh, before 5 a.m. Okay. Nine of you, nine of you always eat breakfast. Three of you always use the computer. Two of you always work overtime. Two of you always work on Saturdays. Okay, as you see, the majority go in always. And only four people never, never work overtime. Never, four of Oh. Congratulations, these people. Okay, and only one, one student never work on Saturday. I guess it was Guillermo, I don't know. Guillermo said no. Yes. No, it's, it's Raquel. Ah, Raquel, never. Okay, you see the dates? And usually, uh, usually three of you usually work overtime. Okay, the majority is here and always, usually, sometimes so so, seldom so so, rarely so so, and never, solo en la pregunta número cuatro se dispararon en cuatro. Ah. Okay, work overtime. Okay, so this is the result of the poll. Let's continue with the next. With this poll, we discover many things about you. Okay, now the vocabulary for this class is this, right? We have few words. We have few words. We have ma'am. Okay, this is very common that people who speak English, they call women mom, but this is madame, short form. Mom, mom, they say. 
And you can, I, at the beginning, I th thought that they were saying ma mama, right? But no, it's not mama, right? It's mom, mom, they say mother, the short form. Okay, the question, do you need anything else? When you are working in a store, this question is very common. Do you need anything else? Or you are a secretary, you ask this question to your boss. Okay, do you need anything else, boss? A cup of coffee? <laughs> okay. And then this is a very polite question to ask. Necesita algo más? Necesita algo más? Right. Do you need anything else? Actually, okay, actually it's a word that is not actualmente, right? People confuse this. They say actualmente, but it's not actualmente. This is... La verdad es que, okay, mostly it's like a la verdad es, lo cierto es, lo que yo quiero decir es, okay, that is what is actually. Okay, here you go. You say here you go when you want to begin something. Okay, vamos, aquí vamos, okay, here you go. Interns are the people who work in a company, uh, but I don't know exactly what interns do at a company. Maybe some of you can tell me. Internos, right? What do internos do in a company? Interns. Do you have interns in your companies? Or it doesn't exist, or they don't exist. Uh, Kathy? Yes, my company uh, interns. Uh, what do they do? Um, I don't know. No, no sé. Pero sí, hay bastante, pero no. No sé exactamente cuánto o a dónde. Ajá, tell me in Spanish if you want. ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué hacen? Eh, ay, que, sí, no, no sé en qué departamentos exactamente. O sea, qué hacen en los departamentos, pero normalmente se encuentran en el área de empaque y en el área de recursos humanos. Ok. Continue. Okay, the topic for today is imperatives. What are imperatives? Okay, number one, imperatives, you say it's a request. When we ask for a favor, when we ask a person do something, we make a request. We are asking someone to do something. For example, I can say, Kathy, open the door. I, I, I ask you, open the door. And that is an imperative. That is a request. It's an instruction. We are telling someone what to do. Okay, if for example, uh, Kathy, you work in my company, I, I can tell you, uh, install the machinery. Install the computers. That is an instruction that I am giving you because I am your boss. <clears throat> or the person who directs uh, the company or a section or a group of people can give instructions. Okay, what is the, the structure of imperatives? Okay, they are simple. Imperatives are no sentences. Uh, if you remember, I told Adi that a sentence always have a subject, okay? You always say I, you, we, they, always they have subject sentences, but imperatives are no subjects. They don't have ver uh, subjects. They don't are sentences. They don't have subjects. They begin using a verb, 
and then a complement, like these examples. Write a letter. Call your clients. Supervise the personnel. They can be requests or they can be instructions. Okay. Hey, I'm a Christina. I can say write a letter. I can say okay, an example. Okay, Ana Cristina, write a letter. I can say, Adi, call your clients. Or I can say, Marixa, supervise the personnel because I am your boss. Sería como una orden, teacher. Uh, yeah, they can be orders too. Orders, requests, instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what is in the manual. Uh, imperatives are commands. Are commands. Okay, commands are things that you have to do, right? How to use commands to order or tell someone to do something. Okay, you say they are orders. Commands, for example, you can say, please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Always be kind, please. Always be kind using the word please. No, hey, Marixa, write a memo. This is not kind, right? You have to say, please, please write a check. No, no, no in a forma, but, okay. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise employees. Please go to a meeting. Okay, Marixa, <laughs> because I am seeing you in this moment. Can you please read the commands? Always say please. please. Yes. Please write a uh, check. Please send a memo. Please check the re report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Exactly. Go to a meeting. Raquel? Please break a chat. Please. Right, right, right. Please write a chat. Please send a memo. <clears throat> Please check a re the report. Please supervise the employees. Please to go to a meeting. Please go to a meeting, right? Please go to a meeting. Isamar? Adi? Okay, teacher. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. She, uh, pardon. Please supervise the employees. Please supervise. Supervise. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Meeting, 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 meeting. Marlon? Go to a meeting. Si no, aquí estoy, teacher. Perdón, me estaba cambiando. Voy llegando a casa. Ah, okay. Do you want to read this? Or no, it's a mark. Sí. Please wear a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employer. Please go to a meeting. Okay, employees, employees. Eh, Marlon? Rosalie? Yes. Ah, no, Marlon answer. <laughs> yes, read. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Okay, Marlon, you're doing right. You're doing good. 
Eh, Rosalí. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Good pronunciation. And now, uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. A meeting. Okay, only one word that I noticed that the majority have some problems, it was employees. Employees, Employee. like I, you have the stress in the final, in the final mm -hmm. syllable, employees. Okay, because the word has two E's, it's a long E, right? Employees, employees, supervise employees, supervise the employees. <laughs> Okay, now go to the next. Here you have an exercise. Okay, what you are going to do is just write the verb. It sometimes can be negative, right? In this exercise, I include some negatives, but do the same, right? Locate the, con the correct, according to what you consider it is. Then while you are doing this, I'm going to call the attendance. Guillermo, don't sleep. <laughs> don't Present. sleep. Uh, Adi? Say present, yes, please. Teacher. Present. Ana Cristina? Present, teacher. Ana, uh, Claudia Marcela? I guess she didn't come today, Ana Claudia. Doris? Uh, Evelyn? Present teacher. Fatima? Present teacher. Gracias, Lazarayi. She's oyente, right? Uh, Guillermo? Present. Isamar? Jose Alexander? Carla Janet, Kathy, Kathy, present teacher, Maritza, present, Marlon, present teacher, Marvin, present teacher. Ay, a Marvin no le pregunté. Ya le voy a preguntar. Teacher, yes. este, eh, ahorita voy manejando. Ya, ah. en cinco minutos llego a mi casa, sí. Ah, ok. Raquel, Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Rosalie. Sara is present. Susana. Present teacher. Doris, ajá.
Are you ready, everyone? No yet, teacher, one minute, please. Be ready, Guillermo, because I'm going to ask you. Okay, teacher. Finish. Finish, finish, Ana Cristina. How do you feel, by the way, how do you feel today, Ana? What? How do you feel today? Uh, how do you feel? Ya un poquito mejor, ya mi mamá está recuperándose, gracias a Dios. Dice. Okay. Gracias. What is the correct answer? Begin, right? Begin. In the number one is Guillermo. It is write, write your names. So easy, right? <laughs> write your names. In the number two, Anna. Don't touch my mobile phone. Don't touch my mobile phone. Okay, let me see. Is this here? Don't touch my mobile phone. Okay, this doesn't have to be a capital because you con you continue, but sometimes these do. When we are typing this automatically appears the capital, right? And the number three is Marlon. What do you have in number three? Open. Open your books. I always say this when students have books. Open your books at page 20. <laughs> In a normal class, right? We say that. Uh, Marixa, what do you have in the number four? Call. Excuse me? Call. Can you repeat, please? Call. Call. Or a call. Call. Call a taxi for me, please. Call a taxi for me, please. And the number five, Evelyn. Do you have the number five, Evelyn? Be careful. Be careful. Be... Exactly. Be careful. And the number six, Susana.
what can be the install number? The install on the computer. Yes. Install these programmers on the computer. Number seven, let me leave this for Abby. Okay, number seven, water, the flowers, please. Flowers, please. Uh -huh, the flowers, flowers. Water, the flowers, please. And then number eight, who wants to tell me number eight? Don't order. Don't, Don't order. order. Don't order. Don't order. Don't order coffee. I don't like it. Who can say that, right? Who can say that? Uh, they don't like. Okay, all the all the are the, correct. You say write your names. Don't touch my mobile phone open your books at page 20 call a taxi for me please be careful install these programmers on the computer water the flowers please don't order coffee i don't like it Okay, I guess this topic is not difficult, I guess. But now we are going to do an activity that I'm going to send a video in the WhatsApp. What you are going to do is the following. Algunas veces, no me gusta decirlo en español, va, pero yo considero que si se entiende la actividad, gano más que si lo explico en inglés. Vaya, le voy a explicar esta. Les voy a mandar en el WhatsApp un video. Lo que ustedes van a hacer es, les voy a dar solo cinco minutos. Cinco minutos. Y vamos a ver cuántos imperatives lograron tomar del video. O sea, prepárense con papel y lápiz o cuaderno. Y van a escribir tantos como puedan en cinco minutos. Luego... Uno por uno me los va a leer en la clase. ¿Ok? No se preocupe si solo tomaron dos o tres. La cosa es que los, los tomen y los tomen bien. ¿Ok? I'm going to send the... Ya lo envié, Ana, en el WhatsApp. Turn back so they don't ever do that. <clears throat> Now stay here and keep out of trouble.
Okay, stop, please. Stop. <clears throat> Okay, begin, Kathy. Read the ones that you get. Okay, I don't never, don't be light. Uh, let's go. And never returns. Close to the door. Open the door. Let's go back. Come with me. And solamente. <laughs> okay, never return see the lion, right? The lion, the lion king. Uh -huh, the lion. <laughs> okay, Ana Cristina, which one do you have? Okay, <clears throat> 22. Um, sit, be careful, take a deep, listen up, always remember. Don't cry for me. Argentina. Never, <laughs> no, never send ship. Only don't keep out. Don't be late. Talk about. Let's go. Run, run away. Tell me. Just go to bed. Trust me. Don't worry. Don't be don't be scared. Please stop call me. Open the door. Come come work me. Do your job. Almost everything in the Christina. Amazing. You're very fast. <laughs> You're very fast. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, Marixa. Uh, sit, <laughs> be careful, uh, say something, some, listen up, Al always, always remember, don't be late, let's go, tell me, close the door. He come with me. Come with me. The last one, right? The, the short woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Guillermo. Mm, yes, it's sure. Tell me, tell me. Well, um, see it, be careful, say something, take a deep breath. And listen up, always remember, don't cry, don't ask me to to change, and never send a ship to kill. Get in here now, tell me, turn back, don't ever do that, stay here and keep out of trouble, don't ever... Um, don't ever again give me that kind of order. And say you love me again. Talk about. Give me one chance. And go get some rest. Let's go. And come back to reality. And run away and never return. Okay, you brought a lot too. Okay. Almost uh, the same as Anna. Okay, Evelyn. No sé si lo puede decir bien, pero se me como que se me cortó la señal cuando estaba estaba en eso, fíjese. Eh, okay. Sí. Sí. Be careful. Don't say something. Say. A bit great hall. Everybody, just in air. Don't ever do that. Do, do, do that. Okay, very good, Evelyn. 
Pero ¿sabe qué es lo que admiro de usted? Que usted nunca se da por vencido. Nunca se da por vencido. Y eso es bueno. Ok. Aunque usted dice de que no sabe si se va a equivocar, pero lo dice. Y, y así somos los valientes. <risa> ok, go ahead, go ahead. <risa> Marvin. Yes, teacher. Eh, let's go, combat, run away, tell me, not all, don't worry, don't be, let me, come on, with me, listen on, eh, don't cry, don't hush. Thank you, Marvin. Raquel? Don't cry for me. Don't ask me. In here now, only don't tell me. Close the close the door. Don't even even again. Don't be late. Let go. Come back. Run away. Never return. Tell me. Please stop. Call me. Call me. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Sit down, let's go. Tell me, close the door, open the door, I will remember, don't worry. And you will remember. Okay, Mar. That, that is new, uh, the one that I listen. Okay, Rosalie, Yvonne. Um, don't be la late and tell about let's go, come back run away and never return <laughs> tell me just go to bed now and believe in my and tell me stop telling me, calling me close the door get my lawyer leave me with here and tell me be a good boy. Let me go my way. Open the door, please. Come on. Let, let's get back to work. Main silence. Come with me. I, you got one of the ratatouille, right? Ratatouille. Okay. Call my lawyer. <laughs> I enjoy those movies. Okay, Susana. Okay, sit, be careful. Take a deep breath, all eat. Listen up. Uh, don't ask me to change. Everybody, everybody get in here now. Uh, Lily, don't ever do that. Don't ever again give that kind of order. Don't be late. Talk about how you feel. Let's go. Come back to reality. To reality. Run away and never return. Tell me. Just to go bed. Bed now. Trust me, it's a bad idea. First, learn to use this. Tell me how to stop it. Stop calling me. Close the door. Okay, thank you, Susan. Fatima. Be careful. Tell us. Take it. Listen up. Always remember. Don't cry. Don't ask. Remember, send. Everybody get in here now. Don't ever do that. Don't ever again. Don't be late. Don't break my heart. Say say you will love love me again. Talk about how you feel. Just give me on chains. Go get some rest. I need it. Come back. Run away. Never never return. Tell me. Just go. Uh, to the bed, 
believe me she's called tell me tell me how to spot let's get out of here please spot call, call me close the door get my larger let me go away and do your do job okay <clears throat> you took the two better yeah thank you you took two very romantic don't break my heart for example <laughs> very very sad don't break my heart okay you took that that i noticed that it was new okay is a man adi okay okay it's a man sometimes open the door always remember only there to be late, let go it call me. Y, y Samar, I don't know, no sé si alguna vez usted encendió la cámara. Sí. Ok. Lo que pasa es que ahorita estoy durmiendo a la niña, por eso estoy a oscura. <laughs> ah, ok, sorry. Sí. Adi, the last one. Ok, listen up, don't cry, never send ship, un break. Let's go, tell me, believe in me, first, open the door, always remember. Okay, the majority have don't cry for me, okay? The, remember the movie Argentina, don't cry for me, Argentina, Madonna's, right? Uh, listen up, I listen, uh, most of you have listen up. Um, listen up is cuando usted quiere que alguien le ponga atención y le escuche, usted dice listen up. Okay, um, another, uh, don't run away. <laughs> okay, good. And now I see that you are understanding more English. What do you think? ¿Cómo se sienten que están entendiendo más inglés? What do you say? Yes, teacher. Okay. Estamos enriqueciendo mucho vocabulario. Yes. Okay. With uh, videos, uh, they are good for doing this. Okay. You, you can watch videos. Okay. Uh, now it's time to continue, but with the manual. I'm going to share the manual. And by the way, I didn't browse the correct page. Wait a minute, please. Teacher. Yes. Yo siento, bueno, a mí en lo personal siento que los videos que está subiendo al WhatsApp antes de cada clase me están ayudando como para poder entender mejor la clase. Sí. Sí. Ajá, entonces me ha ayudado ahí con esto bastante. Sí, ese es el propósito que pueda, uh, lamentablemente no lo he hecho muy antes, eh, lo de la presentación, dice usted, o, lo, o sí. los videos los videos eh, como como explicando verdad uh -huh, el, uh -huh. el tema ajá el tema exacto okay I got it here we have okay how often do you give instructions how often do you write memos? How uh, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Okay, if you are boss or managers in your companies, you have a group of workers that you are in charge, you give instructions, you give orders. 
Okay, look at this conversation. Okay, listen, I'm going to read it. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, now answer this exercise. Complete the following commands. Use the conversation about as reference. Okay, number one, a memo about the new date. Me, one of these stickers and the new interns. Complete with the verbs, please, in this moment. Very easy, right? Right now you can give me the answers, I guess, because they are so easy. And the number one, what is it? Right, right, a memo. Right, a memo. The number two? Give. Give. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, give me. I brought it to near. Give, uh, give, 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 give. And the uh, number three. Supervisor. Supervise. 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 Supervise the new interns. Super by the new intern, porque de seguro están haciendo algo incorrecto, va. <laughs> porque hasta donde yo sé, son como aprendices, va. Ok. Write a memo about the new date. Give me one of these stickers. Super by the new interns. That it was a joke, right? It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. They are good people. Okay, guys, let's go again to the conversation. And I'm going to read it again. Pay attention, please, to the pronunciation. And then we are going to go for a little bit to practice in the week. I'm going to send group of three and you practice with the two classmates, right? Listen again. Please send this package. Package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memos, stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, let's go to practice.
Hello, Isamar. <coughs> Evelyn. Ahora cambiamos. Please send this package. Yes. Ahora usted regresa de A, a y la otra compañera que se ve. Bueno. Ve, empiezo. Please and... Please amar, hello. Sí, sí, sí. Teacher, no sé por qué se me salió. Siempre que, que me uno a la sala se, se sale. Es que yo, debe de ser su internet que es algo bajo. bajo. Porque acá hay que siempre no el internet no hace bajo, eso. Pero he notado de que me dio un vientecito así como que va a llover y ni llueve y ya se pone bien intermitente la lucecita. Sí, fíjese de que casi siempre eso pasa cuando es un poquito ¿El internet de tiro? Sí, el internet es el que... Pero no es, que tan bajo, digo, que es de Se supone que es de 20, por eso me... me no creo, hoy, hoy está bien, está bien malo el internet. Y... Sí, porque justamente cuando se une comienza a conectar y ya se me se sale. Bueno, la voy a, eh, aunque ya eh, la práctica era rápida porque la conversación es bien uh -huh. chiquita. Yo lo voy a esperar entonces acá. Sí, ya sé. Ok. Ahí está bien. Okay, um, we are going to, to do the final activity in the manual right now. Okay, we are not going to do the number five, guys, because I consider that the, the thing that we did in the video was enough. Because here you have to write commands in the design, okay? We are going to do this, this reading. <clears throat> okay, this reading is about Mr. Wilson. And what you are going to do is re read and then correct the wrong ones. Okay, here you have seven things and then you are going to correct. First, uh, can you please read this, Guillermo? Can you yes, read the teacher. paragraph? Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources 
manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, uh, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 20. Twenty first. Twenty first. And and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July twenty second. I am always busy. Okay, the number one is his name is John Wilkins. Okay, is it correct? No. Okay, so correct. Correct. If he it is not correct, he writes reports every day. Is yes or no? No. No. Check email. Uh -huh. So correct the. If there is no correct, correct uh, write the correct sentence. Okay, do it in this moment. Guillermo, usted todavía no se ha quedado, ¿verdad? Eh, no, teacher.
lo voy a dejar en su día más que se sentía más cansado o algo. Sí. <risa> Pero dice que quien le toca casualmente ella nunca está en la última hora. Pero de acuerdo a ese orden a usted también le toca. Ok. So, solo es una la que me faltaría. Bien. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me. The number one. His name is John Wilkins, is correct? No. No, no correct. What no is the correct. correct. His name, his name is John Wilson. John Wilson. Number two, correct or no correct? No correct. No correct. What is the correct? He checks emails every day. And the number three is correct, yes or no? No, 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 correct. Correct. no correct. What is the correct? He always answer and, and talk and talk to potential employees. The phone and talk. Uh -huh. Answer the phone and call. Talk to potential employees. Potential employees. And talk to the potential 
employees. Employees. No, here I don't know what I wanna do to, to make it. Okay, in the number four, I don't have a space here. In number four? Correct. 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 Yes. Mm, you say that often is the same generally. Because here say generally I attend meetings in the morning. Okay, we are gonna say it's correct because I don't wanna write here. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, we can say that generally it's often, right? Um, number five, he never attends meetings in the afternoon, it's correct, yes or no? Yes. Yes. It's correct, okay. It's correct. correct. In the number four, six, sorry, he usually has a pen in his companies? Mm, it's four because oh. he always has events in events? his company. Yes. Okay, yeah. but I was thinking about number five. You say that is correct, right? He never attends meetings in the afternoon. And he mm -hmm. says in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Just like he doesn't seldom attend meetings in the afternoon. But he says never attends. Never. It's the same as not often, as never. What do you say? You say? Number five? It falls. Because uh, not so often is like a readily, right? Readily. <coughs> he? He? He readily. Attend, attend meetings in the afternoon. In uh, points. <laughs> we are going to leave it here. Okay, next. He usually has a bank in his companies? False. Oh, because he, he, he always oh, has he events. Has events. Events. In his company, okay. <laughs> we save a space, and he has to go to a conference. Do you like twenty second? Correct. Mm, he has to attend. Mm, you said that you were thinking about a ver qué me decían porque eh, fíjense bien. Dice de que él tiene que ir a una conferencia en julio 21, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero después tiene que atender una reunión atender acerca, una reunión acerca de la conferencia en julio uh -huh. 22. Uh -huh. Pero entonces, ¿qué día es que tiene que atender la, la reunión acerca de la conferencia? En julio 21. Ajá, entonces, ¿él va a ir a la conferencia, sí o no? Uh, yes, uh, he has to go to a conference, but so, on July 21st. Um, no. Ok, um, dejémosla como correcta, o supongamos que sí va a ir. Porque ahí solo dice que tiene que atender una reunión acerca de la conferencia, no dice que él va a ir. Pero supongamos que sí va a ir. Hay que dejemos. Ok, guys. That's good. How I was glad to see you today. I was glad to see you today. And I feel happy when you attend classes and you participate. <laughs> But mostly it's because you. Uh, think that you're learning 
that is the most important thing here. Okay, everybody, um, have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, only, teacher. See you tomorrow. Only he stays. Okay. Ay, que dijo, see you. <laughs> Ni modo. <laughs> Ya sé que usted pregunta, casi no debe tener, pero mi obligación es preguntarle, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Alguna duda que tiene de la clase? Mm, no, no mucho. Y mm, vaya... Es decir, el, de los temas que vimos hoy, pues, por ejemplo, están bastante claros, ¿verdad? No, no están muy complicados. ¿Y de los que vimos anteriores, cuál le costó? ¿Cuál Quizás usted? Lo, lo que vimos el día de ayer. Porque los había como... Adverbs. Ajá, por la posición más que todo. Sí, fíjese de que este el tema es bastante variado, la verdad. Este, yo se lo dije, pero yo sentí que quizás este teníamos que verlo más detenidamente. Pero como acuérdese que este es un en, 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 después lo vuelven a ver, fíjense. O sea que los temas aquí como que se reciclan. Por ejemplo, este imperative se ve en el nivel 5. Otra vez. Ok. Y entonces, eh, pero así en general, ¿verdad? Como el tema de eh, que está en este nivel es solo de afirmativos. Yo fui la que me metí a ponerlos en negativos <ríe> con los ejemplos. Pero en afirmativo siempre la, la posición es en medio de sujeto y verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero hay una excepción, pero esa excepción solo tiene, es bien contextual. Si usted quiere enfatizarlo, puede ponerlo al final, el adverbio. Al no, final, okay. pero solamente que usted quiera enfatizarlo. Pues, así como, por ejemplo, también hay un do que le llaman el do enfático, que usted puede poner, digamos, hace una oración. Usted sabe que usted a la oración no le puede poner un auxiliar cuando es afirmativa. ¿va? Usted dice, I, I work every day. I work every day. Pero si usted dice, I do work every day, es correcto también, pero ese do es enfático. Como dándole énfasis a I do work. Ah, pues lo mismo en ese caso. Si usted pone al final el frecuencia de es porque Me está enfatizando pero son casos bien especiales ya no es un everyday speaking sino que es casos bien especiales es decir por ejemplo I work every day at from 7 to no, otro ejemplo I get up very early always Así como que está al final, pero como que a la misma vez, como que está solito. Uh -huh. Solo en ese caso. Pero yo lo menciono porque sí existe. No lo quiero sí. engañar, sí existe. Pero la posición gramatical normal es siempre en medio de los dos, el sujeto y verbo. Sujeto y verbo. Después okay. del, en el, los negativos, es inmediatamente después del don't. Y ese don't. sí hay un ejemplo, ahí está en la plataforma. Que sí. hay en la plataforma un negativo. Está después del don't. Después del don't, usted pone su frequency over. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I don't always wake up early. Es después del don't. Y en okay. las preguntas es después del sujeto. Después del sujeto. Okay. Ajá. Espera que ya se le quedó. Es como que hay que repasarlo. Ah, entonces ah, en preguntas lo escribo así, en negaciones lo escribo así. Sí, yo sentí como Ajá. que fue muy rápido, entonces, eh, como... De... La explicación. La explicación, ¿verdad? Sí, pero yo compartí la pantalla, este, ¿cómo se llama? Lo puse después en, el, en la presentación de ayer. Lo puse como unos ejemplos, pues le agregué y lo expliqué, pero sí quizás... Teníamos que haber practicado un poquito más eso, sí. Ahí sí tiene razón. Pero creo que ahorita sí ya lo comprendió más. Sí, ahora sí. Ya me queda un poco más claro. Y así en general, ¿qué cosas le cuestan a usted? Porque yo he visto que es bastante bueno. ¿A dónde es que estudió? Dice? 
Fíjese que yo estudié hace ahí por 2013 en el ITCA. En Uy, ese. hace bastantes años. Ya hace un montón. Sí, pero Sí, hace casi no. como 10 años y en el ITCA. Bueno, yo le digo, yo trabajé casi 20 años en el ITCA. Yo sé cómo es Sí, el ITCA. pero, pero aprendí un montón ahí. Me gustó porque, pues, bueno, solo estuve con una teacher prácticamente. De seguro Solo la con... debo conocer yo. Sí, yo conozco a medio mundo ahí. Sí, no, no me acuerdo cómo se llama ella ya, Sí, pero porque fue hace 10 años, de seguro la conocí. posiblemente, Todavía trabajaba yo ahí. Hace 10 años todavía trabajaba ahí. Tuve casi sí, 20 años. pero sí enseñaban súper bien, me gustaba porque nos hacían escribir un montón y eso pues le ayuda al final, le reforzaba un montón la escritura, la gramática, pues en sí las... las... como actividades que tienen para in, como incorporarlo al grupo y siento que le van quitando el miedo a poco porque cuando yo yo entré a estudiar ahí bueno mi mamá se aseguró que yo fuera a estudiar entonces me metió a un grupo de adultos no no de jóvenes sino que Ah, de adultos sí, ya, o en, sea, en... que entonces usted era un niño, ¿va? o sea, estaba bien jovencito, sí pensándolo no si bien, sí, yo va. en... iba quiero ver como a noveno Pero no, entonces estaban en los de Teams. Ah, no, el de adultos, dice. Sí, lo que pasa es que eh, creo que por el horario no me daba a mí para poder estar en, la, en lo de los en lo de los grupos de los jóvenes. Entonces me metió así el de los adultos y yo dije, bueno, yo no tengo problema. Sí, Pero los de, son muy buenos los cursos de adultos, son muy buenos. sí. Yo estuve bastantes años los domingos, iba yo, los sábados daba en adolescentes y los domingos en el, los domingos Con daba los adultos. adultos. Sí, Pero porque así. yo llegué y yo no sabía nada. Yo en, en mis clases, como yo iba a la más Ferrer, ahí ya, por ejemplo, desde sexto grado a noveno, es bien, es bien intensivo el inglés en la más Ferrer. Entonces, Ah, no, ahí pero... sí lo, ahí sí lo forzaban a hablar un montón No, y como yo no sabía entonces nada. usted se forjó más que todo en la Maferer. Si es que en el Maferer, olvídese, es la, la mejor escuela de todo el, el Salvador, la Maferer. Inclusive que muchos colegios. Sí, Bueno, pero pero en, a nivel de yo, escuela es la mejor. sí, pero yo en eso del inglés era súper malo, entonces mi mamá pues quería que aprendiera y me metió a Litka, y ahí pónganle, se lo hice como a lo mucho, seis, siete meses, y aprendí un montón, porque ya sabía dar una, una presentación, eh, eh, por ejemplo, grupal o solo, yo la podía dar de manera fluida, y y... aquí en lo en lo de Insaport dice que es el primero el primer curso que de un solo lo pusieron en el tres Eh, sí, no me hicieron ningún examen. Es que yo empecé el año pasado con la Academia Europea y ya iba, en diciembre me tocaba empezar el módulo 3, pero eh, hubo como un, un error con las inscripciones, entonces nos dejaron para enero y luego como dijeron que los de Insafor abrían tarde, pues lo pasaron a febrero. Y en febrero nos dijeron que como muchos les habían reclamado por lo de las inscripciones, pues que se iban a retirar del programa, ¿verdad? como para apoyar Ah, o a las sea, empresas. de que usted iba a empezar en, en, ¿cómo se llama? Academia Europea, pero siempre con esa forma. Sí, correcto. Ah, entonces, se pasó para inglés corporativo. Sí, más Yo, que todo yo, por los horarios. yo sé que yo tengo de dar clases y yo sí, yo tengo un montón de años, ya casi voy como por los 23 años, algo así de dar clases. Pero en inglés corporativo sí soy algo nueva, no tengo mucho tiempo. Este, pero el inglés de aquí es como, es para el trabajo, así le llaman, el inglés para el trabajo. Eh, es, este, el vocabulario, hay bastantes cosas que, que usted, eh, o sea, todo es bueno, ¿verdad? Si usted ha, de lo que aprendió en el INTA y ahora con lo que está aprendiendo aquí, como reforzando. Pero el, el inglés de aquí es, este, como más técnico. Es más técnico, yo, yo, no sé si, como es primer módulo todavía quizás no lo nota, pero si hubiera comenzado el nivel 1 ya hubiera visto de que es bastante vocabulario técnico, o sea, todo tiene su lado bonito.
porque el vocabulario que aprende aquí no lo aprende en los cursos de diarios, por ejemplo, de como en el IRCA, no lo aprende, entonces es como un complemento. Yo siento que está bien porque, por ejemplo, en el, en el ITCA no, no le dan tanto vocabulario así, ¿verdad? Eh, también estuve, estudié un, un tiempo en E4CC y ahí se enfocaba mucho en hacerlo hablar, pero no le daban el vocabulario, no es como acá, ¿verdad? Sí, yo, yo sé cómo es y por sí, sí, también. Sé, sé la metodología porque este, yo me fui de un tiempo que yo estuve ahí cuando reci, recién inició y tengo una hija ahí. Sí, yo sé entonces, cómo es, pero el y por sí, sí, es más que todo lo entrenan a usted para el call center. sí, correcto. Sí, porque cuando yo fui a aplicar, lo que me dijeron fue que me faltaba un poco en eso, en eso de los temas, porque Que como le hacen un montón de cosas como de gramática, ¿verdad? Entonces me faltaba gramática, como lo había dejado de estudiar un montón y solo hice como seis meses ahí en E4C, o sea, la fluidez como sí se me entiende y todo, ¿verdad? Entonces me dijeron que por ese lado no había tanto el problema, sino que era por el, el tema gramatical, ¿verdad? Entonces... Mire, uno como a, yo le digo, tengo muchos amigos en todas partes y yo sé cómo es, cómo trabajan en, en varios lugares. Yo, eh, eh, la experiencia, ¿verdad? Y sé, sí sé cómo, cómo trabajan en esos lugares y, y sí le voy a decir que aquí lo que usted va a aprender más que todo es a vocabulario técnico del propio de empresas. Y si usted hace las cosas bien, también va a aprender a expresarse. Yo por eso a usted le, le pregunto bastante y le, le pongo que me ayude. Porque yo veo que usted va un poquito avanzado. Entonces así, cuando yo noto así a los estudiantes avanzados, los pongo que me ayuden. Entonces eso es bueno porque dice el dicho de que se aprende Se aprende un porcentaje pequeño si usted solo escucha. Se aprende más si usted hace. Sí. Sí, Si correcto. usted hace, aprende más. Pero se aprende más, más si usted enseña. Si usted Sí, enseña. así. O sea, si usted está ayudando a sus amigos y usted les está explicando, o sus compañeros, mejor dicho, y usted les está explicando en la clase, usted va a aprender mucho más. Por eso eh, yo le invito a que actualice su computadora para que me ayude en eso. Está bien. Sí, ya va a ver cómo, cómo va a mejorar, porque así es, es, lo, es mejor. Usted va a sentirse de que todo lo, lo, lo está asimilando más, este, como un, más como un 100%, porque usted va a estar como ayudando a los demás. Entonces yo, yo necesito gente ahorita de que me ayude con la computadora, porque eh, no he, he dejado de asignar actividades por eso, fíjese. Porque veo que como que tengo problemas ahí con gente con computadora. Porque Sí. a mí me gusta dejarle bastantes actividades que hagan cosas en grupo. Un Pero grupo. para eso necesitan compartir pantalla y hacer cositas allí. Entonces sí necesito gente que con computadora. Entonces, si Muy me harías el favor, trate de hacerlo para que me ayude. bien. Está bien, teacher. Ok, and that's it. Ok, see you tomorrow. Have a nice Sí, night. yo, teacher. Gracias. <clears throat>